It's incredibly easy to use Prefixer.com, and you can use it in one of two ways. First, you can do it manually. You can visit Prefixer.com and paste in your style sheet. Let's try that now. Let's say the body element, and just to have a demo, there's some margin, maybe we have a box shadow, and then we have a border radius, and then we have some more confusing things like transitions. Can you remember all of the new prefixes? Do we need Microsoft support? What about Opera? That can be difficult to remember. And then we have things like linear gradients. That's difficult to remember as well. We'll do the official form. We'll say red to 40%, and then this color at 80% or 70%, but I can't remember the old version of WebKit. It's all confusing, but Prefixer.com will filter through your style sheet and update all of this dynamically for you so that you don't have to remember all of the various prefixes. So I will click Prefix Size, and as you can see, it updates all of those properties for me, even the linear gradients and older versions of WebKit, as you can see right there. Now also, if I go back a step, we can add some options here. So maybe it's the last step of my project. I just want to update it, compress it, and be done with it. Click Prefix Size, and you're all set there. Uh, also, we can exclude things, whether we want to exclude Mozilla or Opera, or maybe it's a few years from now and we don't want to use any prefixes. We want to strip the browser prefixes. So I could hit All, and that's going to update it to include only the official versions. Or one more would be maybe get rid of Opera, KHTML, and Mozilla, and it will strip all of those out for us. So that's one way you can use this. Another way is to run a request with curl using a shell script. So we can take advantage of this, whether it's in the terminal or even in a program like TextMate. TextMate allows for this. If I go to Bundles, Show Bundle Editor, I've added two items here that I'll make available to you. And you can see we're just running a curl request to prefixer.com's API, and we paste in the selected text. We have two options here. One of them is the entire document, which has this keyboard shortcut. And this other one is for the selected text only, if we only want to update a single property. And that shortcut is Control Option Command R. So let's try it out with this sample style sheet. We'll do one at a time. We'll select this, Control Option Command R. And now that updates it for us. Or we can do the entire style sheet. Control, Option, Command, U. And now that runs a request to prefixer.com and it dynamically updates our entire website. So this is incredibly helpful because you can do this as the last step in your project. And then you can code your style sheets only using the official version. And rest assured, when you're almost done, you can run it through Prefixer. It'll update it for all of the various browsers, and you don't have to deal with any of that. So those are the two ways. Anywhere you can run a shell script, you can use this. So for example, Alfred, which is a popular application starter, it has the ability to execute shell scripts as well. So we have one right here. And you can see I'm running another curl request to prefixer.com, and I'm passing through the query, which is represented by this brace, and then we're copying it when we're done. So what you can do with that is run CSS3, which is the trigger, and we'll say we want the border radius of 8 pixels. That's going to run it through prefixer.com, and it's going to take the results and put it into your clipboard. And then you can paste that in anywhere you need to. So lots of different ways to use this and I hope you enjoy it. The website is prefixer.com.